Video 1501, Utilising Legacy Data in Your Families. In this chapter, we're going to discuss how we can import CAD data into families. This could be something like a SketchUp file or any other 3D CAD object. The important realisation with 3D data is that once you import it into the Revit family, that's it. The form of the actual object will never change. It's probably the quickest way to get 3D information into your Revit model. So from a conceptual point of view, it has some merits. But for project longevity, it does have severely limited uses. In the coming exercises, we're going to look at importing these different file formats into your Revit family and what we can subsequently do with them. Whether it's the 3D chair, a fancy door detail, some construction detailing, or even Disco Bob, there are several things you need to know and be aware of when you're actually importing this data. Whatever file format you import into Revit, there may well be a certain amount of what I call cleaning up that you need to do before you can use it, the data that is, or even the family. And depending on what you're importing also depends on where you need to do that cleanup in. Take a 3D model, for example. If this isn't exactly what you want, don't bring it into your Revit family. You can't explode it and then use the data, as Revit won't recognize the 3D data at all, and it will just search for 2D. So if that information comes from AutoCAD, SketchUp, MicroStation, you'll need to edit that information in its native format before bringing it into the Revit file. And there are methods for tidying up 2D data as well. For example, if you have the program that you used to create the data in the first place, then it's probably a good idea to edit the data there. But there are some workarounds. Well, not workarounds exactly, but workflows. One of those workflows could be importing the data into a blank family, exploding the files, purging everything, exporting it to AutoCAD again, and then importing that into the file that you're working on. And we'll be looking at these workflows in more detail in later videos.